Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the conditions of the parallelism. In the previous video, I explained one type of de dependency parallelism that is the data dependency with an examples. Uh, now let's coming to the second type of uh, dependency of parallelisms that is a control dependency. Control dependency, what it means. So here the control of one statement is depends upon the another statement. So this refers to the situation where the order of execution of statement cannot be determined before runtime. Remember student, let me write that point. This control dependency refers to the situation where the order of the execution the order of execution of statements. So next what statement that has to be executed. So that order of execution of statement cannot be determined. Cannot be determined before runtime. You cannot be determined before runtime. So let me explain you with an example. So how this con control dependency is working on. If you take the if condition, if condition will not be resolved until runtime. Right or wrong? If you take if condition. So the if condition will not, will not be resolved until runtime. So it is going to be checked at the runtime only whether the statement is true or not. If condition is true or not, it will be resolved after run, until runtime. It cannot be resolved. So, where the flow of statement depends on output of the conditional statement. So, everything the flow of control will be dependent on output conditional statements. Right or wrong? So, let's take a small program to understand what is a control independent and control dependence. Then you get a clarity on what exactly the control dependence is. First, let me explain the control independent example. So, when the control is independent and one when the control is dependent. Let me take in a program as for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. So, this is a for, uh, for loop. I am checking a of i is equal to c of i. The value of c of i is moving to a of i. Okay, and I am checking if a of i is less than 0, then a of i should be 1. Otherwise not. So, this is a control independent example. Now, let me take an example of control dependency. Control dependent. For i is equal to 1, i less than n, i plus plus. Here I am checking if condition. a of i minus 1 is less than 0, then a of i is equal to 1. So, here obviously whenever this condition is there, uh, true, we are going to inside and if condition we are checking. So, if i minus 1 is less than 0, the control is dependent. Whenever this statement is we are going i minus 1 is less than 0. Here i is equal to 1. If I take 1, 1 minus 1 0. a of 0 is less than 0. 0 is less than a of 0 whatever the value is there. 1 minus 1 means 0 you are getting. So, it is less than 0. Then you have to assign 1 to the this. This is a control dep dependent. And there is a control independent means we are simply moving the a of c of i value to a of i value. Whatever the value we are taking. So, we are just moving uh, before checking the if condition. This statement is trying to execute. It is a control independent. Whether this statement is true it enter into it. So, a of i value is occupying with the c of i value and it is does not bother about whether this statement is true or not and it is coming out of the loop. And again the a of c of i value I am moving to the a of i value. So, control is independent here. Everything the control is independent. But here the control is completely dependent. Whenever this statement is true then directly it is checking the condition and assigning the value to a of i. So, this is about the control dependency. That means the control dependence always avoids parallelism to being exploited. So, control, one point you have to remember this students, control dependency, whatever it is there, it always avoids the parallelism to being exploited. So, here the compiler techniques or the hardware branch prediction techniques are needed to get around the control dependency in order to exploit more parallelism. That is the main concept here. So, in order to 
exploit the more parallelism these uh, compiler techniques or hardware branch prediction techniques these are all the hardware branch prediction techniques are needed to get around the control dependency only to in order to exploit more parallelism so this is about the control dependency in the next video we'll see the other type of the conditions of the parallelism that is the resource dependency thank you